One, they're you know they're big and they're physical. Um, they're well coached. They've got a lot of experience. Um, you know, and they have a good scheme. You know what I mean? They they do a nice job of, of playing to their strengths. You know, I think that's been the thing that I've been impressed with when you look at their team. It's just the way it's constructed. They've done a nice job of, of saying, okay, what, what do we have here? What's our strengths? What's our weaknesses? Let's play to our strengths. Let's stay away from our weaknesses. And, and you know, they've done a really good job coaching. Not everybody does that. You know, a lot of times coaches have a system and they're going to run their system and maybe the players don't fit the system. Uh, well, at Michigan, they've done a really, really good job of knowing what they want to do, having a goal in mind, having a personality, and then having the players to go out and, you know, fill those roles and execute that vision. And uh, as a result, you get a really good team. Uh, and, I, and I feel that way about them really on offense and defense. You know, I think the team is constructed uh, in a way that makes sense in the Big Ten. Um, and I think that, you know, they've done a really nice job of, of playing to their strengths. And, you know, they've got tremendous running backs. Um, they're powerful guys. And, you know, the thing I'm impressed with is their ability to stay patient with the run game. You know, that's one thing they've been able to do, and I think that's why they've had so much success in the second half of games, is they'll grind it out, you know, and, and, uh, and start to pull away from teams late in the third, early in the fourth quarter. Do you think do you think teams tend to shy away, or not shy away, but pull away from the run game a little bit faster these days? Yeah, oh, for sure. Yeah, I think, I think everybody feels like they got to score points really fast. And I think that's one thing, if you go back and you look at us, we've been a really good second half team as well because – because of that same reason. You know, we've been able to, to physically wear teams down a little bit up front. And as we get in third quarter, fourth quarter, you know, our run game becomes much more effective. And instead of a three, four yard gain, all of a sudden it's a five or six yard gain. And then by the late in the third quarter, it's a seven or eight yard gain. Early in the fourth quarter it becomes a nine or 10 yard gain. And, um, and I think we, we share that same mentality, um, you know, because we, you know, everybody looks at us and you say, well, they make all these big plays, they do this, but we're, we're built on, on a run the ball. We want to run the ball. We're going to be a team that wants to be really physical and don't know that that's necessarily how we're perceived, but it's certainly what we want our identity to be. So, what what challenges do you see from Michigan's defensive line, especially since like your Yeah, side? yeah, I love their, their, their tackles are really physical, uh, good players, play with their hands well, do a great job getting off blocks. Um, Really impressed with those two tackles. I think those guys are, are um, you know, really, really good football players. You know, they're very well coached. They're good technicians. You know, the ends are big guys. You know, we don't see ends uh, that are maybe as big as, as these guys. That's kind of not that typical, really, in the Big 12. It's more a little bit of a speed end as opposed to, to the length and size that these guys have. Um, and they can still run. And that's the thing about the Michigan guys is that they're, they're long and they're athletic and they've got great speed and they can run. But the front, the front's are impressive. You know, I think that to me is you know, the strength of the defense. You know, they've got really good linebackers, a lot of length and athleticism on the back end. But, you know, I think they're built up front. Don't you talk about the run? You talk about the run. How did you kind of see that Kendra Miller was going to have to do this? You know, um, it's interesting. You don't really know about running backs until you start tackling these guys. You know, um, there's always you, you have running backs that look good in practice sometimes. Um, you know, they may be fast, they may be elusive. You know, and you don't really tackle them that often. And then you have to get guys in the games and see how difficult it is to tackle them, see how well they finish runs. You know, obviously, we'd watched a lot of film on Kendra. I was really impressed with the way. He was able to get an extra two or three yards after contact consistently, you know, last year. Um, and so we felt like, you know, this guy is a guy that is going to have an ability to really wear on people. And I think when you look at his success in the second half of games, he's really done a nice job of doing that. He just wears defensive down. He's a tough guy to tackle. He always falls forward. His feet are always moving. You know, there's always that second surge after contact. Um, so, you know, it took us two or three games into the season to realize how good he was, really. You know, we thought he had a chance to be really good. But as you said, you don't really know until you get into games at that position. And so he's, um, he's one of those guys that as the game goes along, he gets stronger, he gets more physical, he gets tougher, and he finishes better. And, you know,
know, a lot of his big plays happen later in games as a result of the defense to start playing. As a former play caller, uh, what, what impresses you about Garrett Riley and kind of what he's been able to